I'm two and a half years sober. So I thought to celebrate the occasion, I would talk about five reasons why you shouldn't drink alcohol. So if you're trying to stop drinking, you might get a little bit of sober time in and then your mind convince you that you're cured. Maybe you can moderate. Maybe your drinking was never that bad. And you go back to drinking, see that it is actually that bad and then you start the process again. So here are five reasons that might not quickly come to your mind when you think about not drinking. Number one, you have to spend a lot of time thinking about alcohol. When I was drinking, all I did was drink, hate myself for how much I drank, thought about what a loser I was for drinking that much, rationalize why maybe it's okay if I do drink, convince myself that I should drink, think about how I'm gonna moderate, drink, and then repeat. You spend a lot of time drinking, beating yourself up for drinking, planning the drinking, and trying to convince yourself that you can drink. And that's really exhausting, and I didn't realize how much time it was until I got away from it. It's like quitting a second full-time job. And if you've watched my video about boredom, that free time can become really overwhelming. Number two, alcohol destroys our self-esteem. I hated myself so much when I was drinking. I couldn't stand myself. I thought I was a bad person. I was a loser. I was a depressed person. I thought all of these horrible things about myself. And I lived for those two hours a day when I would start drinking and everything would be better. But what I didn't realize is those two hours were creating the next 22 hours of misery. We think that alcohol is our best friend and that it's the only thing that makes us feel better about ourselves and our situation, but alcohol is really fueling the way that we feel about ourselves and why our situation is so bad. The way that I built up self-esteem and sobriety was keeping a promise to myself every day that I wouldn't drink. And over time, you start to trust yourself again and you can set bigger and bigger goals and do more things for yourself. But when every day you tell yourself you're not gonna drink or you're only gonna drink this amount and you let yourself down again, you have no confidence in yourself and your self-esteem is destroyed. Number three, when you're drinking, your hobbies include sitting around or standing around. All I did was sit in different locations with other people who were also just sitting around and we talked about nothing. You have the same empty conversations that you always have and you feel that drinking makes everything fun, but what drinking really is doing is it's just allowing you to tolerate people and activities that you don't really like. When you remove the alcohol from the situation and you're just simply sitting around with other people who are just sitting around, that feels really boring. And that's the reality of the situation where alcohol slows down your brain and makes you not care that you're sitting around doing nothing or that you're socializing with people you don't even like. So in sobriety, you can actually get some real hobbies. Number four, alcohol turns you into a dry red puffball. Alcohol dehydrates you, dries out your skin, dry skin wrinkles faster than hydrated skin. And on top of that, studies have found that alcohol accelerates the aging process in our face. It makes your face very red from broken capillaries, and it turns you into a big puffball. Alcohol causes a lot of inflammation because it is not something we're supposed to be consuming in large quantities, or really at all. And if you've seen before and afters, the person was so puffy, red, and sweaty in the before picture, and in the after picture, they just look like a normal person. And we don't see how puffy and inflamed we are while we're drinking. I actually dropped an entire pant size without any change in my weight, just from the inflammation going down when I stopped drinking. So vanity and looking your best is important to you, Alcohol does not support that. And lastly, alcohol makes you very emotional, dramatic, and highly reactive. Alcohol has a major impact on the emotional centers of the brain, and it prevents us from thinking things through as much as we normally would, so we become really reactive people. We get really easily offended, very dramatic. Everything is a 
big deal. And in sobriety, things are a lot more chill because we can think about them appropriately. I was often getting very offended or my emotions would escalate over almost nothing. I would end the night in fights with my husband and we weren't even fighting about anything. We were just both drunk and fighting because we were drunk. But when we look back the next day, we couldn't even remember like, what was the point here? So alcohol makes us highly emotional, which is unpleasant for us, but it's unpleasant for other people. And people don't want to be around someone that's very emotional, dramatic, and reactive all the time. So it impacts your relationships too. So over the past two and a half years, I've had so many positive changes to my life. I trust myself now. I believe in myself. I wake up every day and I can't believe how amazing it is not to hate myself. I thought that I was just always someone who would hate myself and that turns out not to be the truth. My relationships have improved. I have goals and dreams now. I actually have hobbies. I don't just sit around and do nothing and throw away days or weeks or years of my life anymore on alcohol. I have a full happy life and that doesn't mean that it's always easy. There's a lot of work that you have to do in sobriety to learn how to deal with stuff but it's worth it to get to live. Before I was a zombie that was just wandering around waiting for the next time to drink. And now I'm present for every moment of my life. I'm not just getting through until it's time to drink again. So if you made it this far, I hope this video was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments what your biggest takeaway was and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video.